Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pagey, here once again with another video on The Flash Season 8, and this is going to be my trailer breakdown for Episode 2 for uh, Season 8, otherwise entitled Armageddon Part 2. I have to get used to that sort of wording. Uh, but yeah, let's just, let's just shut myself up for a bit, and let's watch the trailer. That's what I said, I'm going to destroy the world. Barry isn't a threat to us. Why? What would cause me to turn my back on everything I've sworn to protect? Sorry. Madness. Your mind will crack. And with it, the world ends. The Flash Armageddon. Five episode event continues next Tuesday at 8, 7 central, only on The CW. So yeah, last episode. Episode 1, Part 1, the Season 8 premiere came in. I think it surprised a lot of people. It was good to see, you know the show come out and go, hey, you know, we dropped the ball a bit in season seven, especially in that middle area. We didn't really recover from that. Let's start good. Let's start good. Let's impress the fans. And they did. I didn't see any people really. I'm, I'm sure there's someone, someone watching that didn't enjoy the episode. I saw like one person say they didn't like the episode in my comment section, which was surprising because they had a, like a whole flash theme for their YouTube channel as well. Anyway, I thought that was a bit weird. But anyway, um, yeah, I think it came in and set up the crossover really well while also feeling like a normal episode at the same time. I just said crossover. It's not a crossover. It's an event. Setting up the event really well. But it also, as I said, felt like a normal episode at the same time. Like we had the Royal Flush gang come in, but they were used really well to dive into Barry not only being a CSI, but also he's showing his powers and the evolution of them since the end of last season. So the Royal Flush Gang themselves were used really, really well in the episode alongside developing our characters and showing us what they're doing in season eight and potentially where they're going to go and how they'll be using Armageddon as well. But last episode, Despero came in, uh, we saw him in the human form as well as his alien CGI form, which in that daylight scene stuff, I uh, get the technology convention looked awesome amazing like i think you'd give it a 9 9.5 over 10 um when it was in like the inside of star labs which i think where i think they didn't use the same methods they did for the outside scene it looked a bit weird um that might have just been because it was dark and then but there's also weird lights coming in but didn't look as strong as when it was in the daylight so hopefully whenever we at least for the most time when we see him in that uh, alien form it's done the same way they did it in that daylight scene where they had the tracking dots on the guy's face the actor's face and it would look better, like, most of the time. But, uh, yeah, Barry from the future, apparently, is uh, doing some killing. Despero has come back to try and stop that. I'm sure there's going to be some mysteries and twists and turns along the way. Um, it's definitely not going to be as, you know, straight up as that. There's definitely going to be some stuff that comes in and surprises us, from, uh, surprises us, I'm sure. Whether it happens in episode two is another question, um, but, yeah. But yeah, before we break down the actual trailer, we will quickly read out the synopsis or description for the episode as it does give us a bit more context as to what's happening in this episode. And I can tell you, it talks about stuff that's not in the trailer, so it's worth going over. But of course, throughout the video, be sure to let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts, theories, predictions, um, what you're looking forward to the most uh, from the trailer for this episode. Let me know all that in the comment section down below. And of course, if you're going to enjoy the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on the video to show your support and excitement. Despero warns the Flash that great tragedies will befall the Speedstar and cause him to lose his mind. Once that happens, Armageddon will begin. Determined to prove Despero wrong, Barry doubles down on proving his innocence, but a devastating re uh, revelation from Iris pushes him to the edge and sends him to seek counsel from Black Lightning. So yeah, Black Lightning is in this episode. Um, he's in the synopsis and everything like that. However, this is the big thing because it's a trailer breakdown. He's not in the trailer. We don't have any footage from him in this trailer. We did have footage from him in the actual season eight trailer, which is from this episode. So I probably would have put a picture of him on screen. So that's from this episode. Um, so that does make me think he may show up later in this episode, the fact that he's not in the trailer, because the trailer seems to be fairly plot heavy, like it's showing a lot of the stuff continuing on from the end of episode one. So maybe he'll show up at the end of episode two, similar to the timing of Despero and the like the, and how he showed up in episode one. So like the final, what, 10 minutes roughly? You know, something like that. So maybe in the final, when like the second last ad break comes on, that's when Black Lightning will appear. Something like that. He could show up in the first 10 minutes. I have no idea, but that's my prediction heading into episode two. But in regards to the actual trailer, there's some interesting stuff going on. And obviously it leaves us with a mystery. The trailer is not going to explain all that's for the episode to do. 
But the episode or the trailer, might I say, opens up with Barry himself opening up to Iris and the rest of Team Flash about his conversation with Despero. Obviously, the synopsis talks about like a, re a revelation or a devastating revelation from Iris. I do wonder whether this conversation with Iris is that or that that's something that Iris comes about, you know, halfway through the episode and then reveals it to Barry at that point. Um, not too sure. I think I just had a voice crack. That's shouldn't be having that at my age. Um, but yeah, uh, in regards to the rest of the team flash, they don't see, or they don't seem to understand or just see in general how Barry could be a threat to them. It's almost similar to the talk at the end of episode one, following the first encounter with Despero. But of course, Barry is going to be the one with this, you know, constantly going on in his mind and his head. Just like, did I do this? Could I have done this? Like, do I need to be worried? And we do see Barry getting scanned here with this like blue light thing, which maybe potentially maybe a smidge makes me think that something does happen, which makes them feel the need to scan Barry. Um, so maybe there is a suggestion of Barry being weird uh, or maybe like a vision that they need to just once again, do another scan. But then again, maybe it's just a scan of Barry, you know, just for Barry's sake. So he isn't too worried. It's like, Hey, you're freaking out for no reason. Look, yeah, you're normal. Your brain's normal. I guess that's as long as the results come back that you know, support him not going weird and going crazy. Now, it does appear that the conversation at the end of episode one with Despero in, in like the speed lab continues into episode two, or maybe it's just another conversation that happens in episode two. So Despero comes back and I guess the speed lab is the, uh, the unofficial, maybe they'll make it the official conversation area. I'm not too sure, but Barry seems to be hounding Despero with questions about what is this big thing that would make Barry do what Despero is claiming he is going to do? And Despero just simply says, without, I guess, revealing it all, it's madness and that Barry's mind will crack. But I guess it's the big question of what causes that madness. Is it just anything? Because we're led to believe that Barry's going to kill everyone around him as well. Or is it something else that kills people around him that then drives him mad? And it's sort of similar to me, like the thing we saw in season three i guess with the future flash when like iris died but then everyone around him dies and it makes him go like the other the other option instead of being like a hermit he goes like over the top i'm not too sure but yeah barry's mind will crack and with it the beginning of the end of the world will begin if that well <laughs> i guess does that make sense the beginning of the end of the world starts or will be the beginning for the end of the world is that, I think I'm talking English. I think I am. But yeah, I do wonder whether I'll explain it all in this episode or whether they'll, you know, they'll say, here's another jigsaw piece. Here's another puzzle piece. And in episode three, we get you another one. And then in episode four, maybe right towards the end, we'll, we'll complete the puzzle and you know exactly what we're doing. And episode five will then be the big climactic end to it. I am curious to see how they lay it all out. Now we do get to see Barry in the time vault with a very eerie environment around him. There's all this red going on, the, even like the time vault itself or the Gideon area thing seems to be like flashing and stuff like that. And I do wonder, is he seeing like more of the future that Despero was talking about? Or is it something that links to the future that Despero was talking about specifically? Um, like, is he going to try and talk to Gideon? Gideon can't help him. Like, I don't know why he'd be flashing red. Or, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a bit of a question mark, and I think this might be a fairly interesting scene, but this could also be a cliffhanger. I'm not too sure. There's a couple of things in this episode that I, based off the trailer, I wasn't expecting to see, but it could all be visions as well. Um, when we'll get to another one a bit later in this video as well. So I'm curious to see what this time vault thing is. If you have any theories, let me know in the comment section down below. Now we do see Barry speeding in here with these two citizens of Central City or some Central City citizens, play on words there. Get it, Iris? Anyway, um, though they could be tourists saying they're looking at directions, but maybe they're like, hey, remember, where's that Chinese restaurant we went to all the time? I can't remember. I don't know. Maybe that's what they're looking for. But we know there is a talk between Barry and Despero in this area that's supposed to be very important. And I think from memory, from like interviews and press and just things like that, it has something to do with like Despero's past or his intentions or... Something along the, something to do with him personally. I think it's it might be what happened to him and why he's been on this journey and venture to now being with Barry in the present day, or at least in 2021, and why he's trying to stop potentially what could happen in 2031. I think we're meant to get like a full ex explanation around that from Despero. So we could get some like origins from here from him here, or maybe that intel from Alex Danvers that Caitlin was going to collect comes through, which leads to this. Or maybe something else and, you know, what Alex Danvers will provide is more useful in a later episode. But we do get another shot in the trailer in the same area 
with Barry like wigging out. It's sort of like that, like, like a like hallucinogenic psychological weird thing going on. So this could be like another vision or maybe it's a hint at some madness going on with, within Barry or it just could be like Despero using his powers or a specific power on Barry. Uh, once again, don't know if this is going to be towards the end of the episode, in the middle, towards the beginning. I'm not too sure. Um, because that's the way the crossovers, even though it's not a crossover, it's, it's playing out like a crossover. These events, that's how they play out. You can't really pick where certain things happen in an episode. A normal episode you can, because a normal episode usually has a standard structure. These events don't. They just sort of bounce around. And that's a good thing in this instance, as long as it stays clean, you know, it doesn't go too weird. So it's hard to pinpoint where this could happen in the episode. But the part in the trailer that made me go, hmm, what's going on here? What the hell? Is when we have Barry seeing someone in like a mental hospital or something like in restraints. Now this is Barry overlooking this person. It's not Barry tr strapped in or at least not normal Barry, if that makes sense, because the person standing up is what Barry was wearing. So it's what Barry's wearing in the episode. Um, and you can see it at other points in the trailer. Now it could be Barry that's strapped in because this could be our normal Barry, if you want to call it, or the present day Barry, seeing another version of himself maybe in the future. Um, <laughs> it would be weird if that was the case, but it potentially could be because I don't know who else it could be that's strapped in here. Um, my For some reason, I thought Godspeed, August Harbour, I, I, if it's him, I'd be shocked. I don't think it's him. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe just because I thought maybe this could be an Iron Heights, but maybe it could be like our present day Barry going to the future and seeing the, like this version of himself that's gone a bit mad and they're trying to stop him from going mad, but... I'm not too sure, but this is definitely Barry looking over the top of him. And I'm very curious to see who it is if it is not Barry and whether they're overly relevant to the story. I think that'd be good to be... I think that could be a uh, pretty interesting plot element for this episode and potentially future episodes as well. But yeah, it was weird they didn't show any Black Lightning in this trailer. I just thought that was a bit odd. Now, I think... Like, well, not I think, but I do wonder whether just overall there's going to be time travel at points. I mean, we're dealing with something from the future. Will Barry get the temptation to travel to the future and actually see if anything there is true? And also, even if you think about episode one, I thought it was weird. Like they had that flashback thing where Barry thought back to when he was in a coma and like when the Royal Flush Gang first attacked and everything like that. I thought that was odd. Like, did anyone else think that was just a, a weird thing? Like, I, as I said in my review for episode one, could have been a stylistic choice. But I just thought it was odd. And I was like, is that, are they doing that for a reason? So I wonder if that plays out in episode two as well. And even episode three, four, potentially. Um, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but it definitely has my uh, thinking cap on, if you want to call it. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it to talk about from this trailer. If you enjoyed the video, it would be awesome if you could drop a like on it, show support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various opinions, thoughts, theories, predictions, everything like that about this trailer heading into this episode and what you think could go down. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.